Nippy 4 and 4 Plus. This video provides training on how to use home mechanical ventilation. The training you are about to receive is specific to the Brius Nippy 4 and 4 Plus and is therefore not transferable to other devices. Home mechanical ventilation provides a way of supporting breathing outside of the hospital setting. The intention of the treatment is to improve quality of life and relieve symptoms. Home mechanical ventilation is delivered by a machine attached to a hose and firm fitting mask or via a tube in the neck called a tracheostomy. The machine delivers a steady stream of air at a pre-decided volume, pressure or a combination of both. Usually the machine provides two levels of ventilation. One is a low continuous pressure felt at a slight resistance when breathing out to keep the lungs open for longer. The other is a higher pressure felt when breathing in to assist with providing a bigger breath. The machine is set with a backup rate, so if it detects a pause in the person's breathing, it will deliver a breath for them. This is to ensure a consistent breathing pattern throughout the night. Some medical conditions that relate to the lungs, nerves and muscles can lead to a problem with pulling air into and out of the lungs. Breathing feels harder work and muscles become tired. This can lead to a buildup of carbon dioxide in the blood and a reduction of oxygen, especially at night. Home mechanical ventilation may enable breathing to be more effective so muscles have time to rest. It also helps to keep the oxygen and carbon dioxide levels within normal limits as high levels of carbon dioxide in the blood can be dangerous and lead to hospital admission. Signs and symptoms of raised carbon dioxide include lack of quality sleep, morning headaches, pins and needles in the fingers and hands, daytime sleepiness, lack of concentration or alertness, shortness of breath, and tremor of the arm, known as a CO2 flap. The Nippy 4 and 4 Plus are very similar devices and are operated in the same way and can support those who are ventilator dependent for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Nippy 4 Plus has additional capabilities such as a children's mode and volume controlled mode. To start, connect the power cord into the transformer and then into an electrical power outlet. Connect the cable into the back of the device, ensuring the arrows line up and click into place. The gray connection acts as a sleeve lock, preventing the device from becoming accidentally unplugged. Avoid pulling on the black cable. Instead, slide the gray casing to release the cord. Additional oxygen can be delivered through an oxygen port. If oxygen is required, the Home and IV team will advise you further. Additional accessories can be added to the device. However, these are not regularly used and for your reference only. To access the SD card, lift the carry handle and press the button underneath. Push the card towards the machine to insert or remove it. The ventilator will still work and provide therapy normally, whether an SD card is present or not. You will be asked to download the data onto the SD card before an appointment. To do this, you must first remove the card and reinsert it into the device. A message will appear on screen asking you to save memory data on card. Select yes. The device may also have remote monitoring capabilities, allowing the team to review and make changes as required. Behind this panel, you will see the inlet where air is drawn into the device and this should not be covered. This is protected by a black dust filter and white pollen filter. The black filter should be checked once a week and cleaned in warm water to remove any dust and replaced in the device. The white filter is not washable and should be replaced monthly. To replace the side panel, ensure the teeth are lined up and click back into place. Remove the side panel on the opposite side by pressing number one and two under the carry handle. An air bypass chamber directs air from one port to the other within the device. Ensure this is fully clicked into place to stop an error message appearing on the screen. Both ventilators have an integrated two and a half hour internal battery. This is for use as a temporary power source only and AC mains power should always be used when available. 
If required, the Home and IV team will provide an additional click-in battery, offering an extra six and a half hours of power, depending on the set pressures and health of the battery. By removing these components, an integrated heated humidifier chamber can be added. This enables air to be passed through a warmed water chamber, helping to add moisture and reduce dryness and improve comfort. To remove the chamber, press the button labeled two and disconnect it from the device. Fill the humidifier with boiled, chilled tap water to the line marked on the side. Ensure it is fully clicked back into the device. Please note, the device must be connected to AC mains to run the humidifier. It will not operate on the battery alone. The air outlet is located on the top of the device. This is where air is delivered from the device to the mask or tracheostomy. For a tracheostomy setup, please refer to the additional training video as this requires a different circuit to that about to be displayed. Attach the bacterial filter to the air outlet. It will only attach one way, so you can't get this wrong. This must be used with the device to protect from any bacteria. You will use a white filter for a dry circuit or a yellow filter with a humidified or wet circuit. Connect the hose firmly onto the filter and the free end firmly onto the mask. The mask shown in this video may differ to the mask provided. The F20 is the most common mask we use and will be shown in this video. The mask has a cushion which allows a firm seal to be made. If the mask is dirty, it will not form an effective seal and air will leak as it moves around. Please don't over tighten the headgear as this can lead to pressure areas, particularly on the bridge of the nose. Instead, please remove and reapply the mask to improve the fit. It's important to reduce leak to ensure the machine is giving the right size breath. At the front of the mask, there is an exhalation port to allow carbon dioxide to escape and you will feel the breath out here. Please ensure this is kept clean and not blocked or covered. You will be shown where this is depending on the type of mask being used. Firmly but comfortably apply the mask. This should sit on the bridge of the nose and in the chin groove. You should be able to fit two fingers down the side of the straps, which ensures it's not too tight. Some individuals may choose to have the air flowing or the ventilator switched on before applying the mask. Press the power button on the top of the device. The device will turn on and enter standby mode. An LED light on the front of the device will indicate the power source currently in use, along with the available charge of each battery on the screen. The settings are shown on the left-hand side and are locked, so you are unable to accidentally change them. Any alarm set will be shown on the right of the screen. The mode of ventilation is shown in the bottom left corner. Those with two programs can move between them by pressing the mode button and using the plus and minus button to scroll. Select the mode and confirm to apply the change. The device menu allows you to make changes to the humidifier temperature, date, time, and screen brightness to suit your needs. Use the plus and minus buttons to move between the options. You may be asked to access the alarm log to help the team fix any problems with the ventilator. To start therapy, press and hold the start stop button. The progress bar will fill across the screen. Continue holding until the bar is fully loaded and wait for ventilation to start. Numbers will appear in the centre of the screen, including the size of the breath and the mask leak. This will vary for the individual. If this is raised, you may need to adjust the mask. Remove and reapply the mask, ensuring that it is central and that the straps are even on both sides. To stop ventilation, Press and hold the start stop button. The progress bar will fill across the screen. Select yes to confirm you wish to stop treatment. To turn the device off, press the start stop button and confirm the action by selecting off. When finished, undo the mask and remove the headgear. Avoid adjusting the Velcro where possible to ensure a consistent fit is achieved.
the machine may alarm to tell you there is a problem. A message will appear on screen in a red or yellow box depending on the seriousness of the alarm. If this occurs and you are caring for someone, first check that they are okay. The message on screen will give you a list of possible causes and solutions to resolve the issue. When the issue is fixed, the device will self-cancel the alarm. If you are unable to resolve the issue, please contact the home ventilation team and we will advise you on what to do next. White filters on the air outlet should be changed weekly. Yellow filters used with humidification should be changed daily to prevent being blocked by moisture. If you require any additional consumables, such as a hose, filters or masks, please contact the Home and IV team on the contact details below. The hose should be washed weekly in mild detergent, rinsed in clean water and left to drip dry over a shower rail or door. Never use bleach to clean the equipment. Replace the water in the humidifier chamber daily and wash once a week. However, don't use any harsh chemicals. Wipe the inside of the mask with a damp cloth daily. Do not use baby wipes as this can damage the seal. Cleaning the mask daily will help to achieve a good seal and prevent the mask moving around. Wash the headgear in warm soapy water and leave to dry naturally.